This morning I only had a recovery ride to do one hour, 30 minutes, 37.5 Ks. A welcome to this week's video. So this is my post-workout meal is a half an avo, two eggs, blue cheese, tomato, on toast and chipotle, 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 how do you pronounce it? Mm. <laughs> Pork sausages. That was a mooi, mooi stick footage. Fun day. So this morning I am sitting here with Stefan and we're busy on a project that I can't share with you at the moment but I can promise you it is going to be pretty epic. I actually just want to show like the first 10 seconds of that promo. Are we allowed to do that? Yeah, let's, let's show them the first 10 seconds. Oh, let's, let's 10, seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, just 10 seconds. And then you're going to have to wait for, for the full one. Because everything I ever needed was inside of me all this time. Okay, that is all that we can show right now. But that looks pretty good. That's amazing. <laughs> Goosebumps all over. Yeah, but the, the real thing will come out soon and um, just be sure to, to check the, the channel for that. If you can't get on the assault bike, no problem. Is my face red? It's, re it's really red, isn't it? Must be the lighting. It's definitely the lighting. It's not like I'm tired or anything. So you don't always have the luxury of getting dressed in the comfort of your home. So today I'm going to show you how to get dressed in your wheelchair or you know in a public bathroom or wherever. And <laughs> the first time I did this, this was quite uh, fun and it took me ages to do but by now I have mastered the technique of getting dressed in my wheelchair. So. I'm going to take you along and uh, show you how that goes. So undressing is obviously the easy part. Um, don't worry, I do have skins underneath. And undressing is the easy part. I just lean side to side and I can easily pull down my pants they just come off quite easily but obviously the putting on pants in a wheelchair can be tricky so the technique that I use is after I've put it around my feet I just put it all the way up until this point and then I literally just have to I hold on to the one side of my wheelchair and I shift my weight all the way to the one side and then I just pull up the pants you know, piece by piece 
I can just pull it up. Uh, and the other side, it can even help if you want to lean all the way over and put your hand on the floor, because then there's absolutely no weight on your bum, and then you can easily just pull it up over your hips. That last part, that's the tricky part, is just getting it over your hips all the way. Forward. And you just have to keep on wiggling side to side until your pants are up. There we go. So, some time ago in the beginning, when I was really not that good at this, I used to ask someone to help me just to get the pants up over my hips. So I would get it up all the way until about here. And I would usually ask my dad or my friend or my girlfriend at the time just to, to pull my pants up over my hips. Um, so no shame in asking, right? Okay, time to get out of here. So in a typical training week, I would have two strength sessions, uh, the one which you just saw, and at the moment we are four weeks out from the big swim. I am super excited about it, training is going so well, I couldn't be better prepared given the time that's left, and in two weeks time we have the 200 kilometer cycle. I really hope that I can show you, you know, what's going to happen on that day. Maybe put a GoPro on the bike and whenever we stop, I can update you on how things are going. But uh, that's going to be rough. That's really, that's really going to be rough and raw, um, which is why I want to show it to you. Hey, hey buddy. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. hey. So this is my go-to post-workout uh, meal is two scoops of whey protein. I usually make it with, with water, but every now and again milk is, is really good. Just makes it like a milkshake. And then of course, to, to just uh, wash that down, I have a bit of a... Hmm, bit of a guilty pleasure i don't have it every single day but this is the most favorite snack that that i can think of it is it's not healthy at all but so i don't endorse this chocolate loops it says gluten-free i have no idea what that is worth even but i find the biggest bowl and i have a bowl of chocolate loops so before i end this video i just want to thank karen our new patreon and karen i did send you a message thanking you personally um, i'm not sure if you read it but i just want to thank you again thank you for supporting this channel and yeah welcome to the club thanks for watching this week and i will see you guys in a few days for another video mm. that's good I just spilt all the milk on the floor.